Picking an appropriate launch site is one of the most important steps in the launch process. We previously discussed how you should find a location to launch from, but it's also important to understand where specifically you should launch from within your site. Typically, a grassy field will make the best launch site, but just because you launch from a certain area, that does not mean it will land in that same area. Because of a few factors, most notably wind, a rocket will likely drift away from its launch pad in flight, especially during the parachute phase. Therefore, you want to avoid situations where your rocket can land in certain areas. Previously, we have discussed the NAR's guidelines for picking a launch site, which mostly focus on how far away you need to be from buildings. However, there are some things you'll want to keep in mind that are not necessarily defined in the NAR's regulations. One area that you want to avoid are trees. A rocket landing in an area with trees could cause the parachute to catch on a branch, making recovery much more difficult, or even worse, damage the rocket. Another thing to avoid are parking lots or any areas with asphalt or concrete. While these areas might be, might be nice and flat, your rocket hitting concrete, even at parachute descent speeds, could likely damage your rocket, as concrete is a much harder and rougher surface than grass or dirt. The last thing you should avoid are cornfields or any areas with crops or tall grass. This might seem like a weird rule, and while landing in these areas might not damage your rocket like the previously two discussed hazards, it'll make recovery significantly more difficult. Trust me, we know from experience, you do not want to land your rocket in a cornfield as it could take hours to search for. As previously mentioned, wind will be the primary factor that influences where your rocket will land. In a previous video, we discussed how the NAR's guidelines state that you should not launch a rocket in wind speeds greater than 20 miles per hour. This does not mean that wind effects will be negligible in wind speeds less than that, however. Even if there is little wind, something that is often not considered is wind gradient. Typically, in areas that are mostly free from buildings or any obstructions, wind speeds begin to steadily increase as you move higher in altitude, making its effect on your rocket more powerful. Another factor to consider is weather cocking, the tendency for a rocket to move upwind during launch due to interactions between the wind and the rocket's fins, and then to drift downward during descent due to the interactions between the wind and the parachute. Both of these factors will cause your rocket to land away from your launch site. Upon figuring out the wind's speed and direction, you might want to strategically place your launch pad in an area that will decrease the likelihood of landing in an undesirable area. Another way to counteract the wind is to angle your launch tower slightly upwind. Why upwind though? Let's say the wind is blowing from east to west. If you launch your rocket slightly angled to the east, it will move eastwards upon launch, and then after the motor cuts out and the parachute is deployed, the wind will blow it westwards, back towards the launch site. This will make it more likely for the rocket to land around the launch pad. This picture shows several plotted rocket launches in varying, varying directions and where they land into the wind. As you can see, all the yellow and blue launches, the ones with parachutes, that were launched upwind landed relatively close to the launch pad, whereas the ones that launched downwind were blown far away from the launch site. Even with angling your launch pad, it is important to keep in mind that your rocket will tend to drift in the direction of the wind regardless. Try to place your launch pad so that the wind blows into a desirable landing area. If the wind blows west, you don't want to have a parking lot just west of your launch site. Overall, the placement of your launch pad and how much you angle it can have a great influence on where your rockets land and whether or not your recovery will be successful.